been seeing the title today we are going to show you how to allow USB debugging or to disable USB debugging and we're gonna do some other stuff with your processor and we in developer options okay so first thing first we are going into an app and the app name is the app name is background background apps and processing list now we're gonna go into this one first okay and once we go into this one first and if you don't know how to download this um we i do have a video showing you how to install the how to install this on your smart cloud tv um there these apps are the apps that is running in your background right now the reason why i am doing this is because i realize that my apps are not processing on the tv faster because i have too many stuff in the background that i need to limit okay and uh, this app that you see me um go on a while ago this apps give you all the background apps that is running in the background that you need to turn off some you need to turn off and some you don't okay but for this purpose we're gonna show you how to remove some of these apps from here to make your apps on your tv run a little bit faster we're gonna click on uh, um, the ok button so we click on close all right up here um we we didn't have to do that we could have clicked on individual apps to do that but we are going to do it like this and it to me it's the best way of doing it right now now how to disable the background apps without deleting um the app you will click on for stop and you're gonna click ok once you do that you're gonna click um go back and it will give you all of the apps that you want to um take out of the the background apps and um, so that and this one it, to skip it you will just skip past it and it will do it like that um i'm using the mouse and i'm using um my uh, um remote okay and we are going to force stop it and open browser and we're going to skip this one because we want that one to always be on and we're going to force stop this and go back and go back force stop send files to tv we're going to force stop that and we're going to force stop this and we are not going to force stop that that's going to stay so once we done that you see that it limits the amount of stuff that we um that is running in the background now we want these two apps these three apps to run in the background because we are currently using them right now um that's it that's how it's done on this so we're gonna go back so it's background app if you want to know how to download that i will show you guys how to install that on your tv just write it in the comment section and i will get back to you now there's another settings that i want to show you that involves the background app okay now we are going into developer options now on your t on your tv i'm using the project v launcher so i have developer option fast and easy um if you don't know how to do it what you will do once you click on here um this settings right here you click on about and you go to the bill right here 
and you will click it seven times <coughs> and it will carry you into developer options now I don't have to do that because the project V launcher automatically gives you that options uh, we're gonna go back and we are going down here into developer options right here and we are going to search for background apps background process limit so we're going to search for background apps background process limit and uh, it, I think it's all the way down here there it is this is it right here now we're going to click on it and we want to have it um, you can turn it off if you want but we want it at one process we want it right there now that um, limits the amount that's um, processing the background that any apps that you have processing the background that what we did a while ago limits the the background apps before we show you a multiple of apps that is running in the background this will help you to to limit it now we are still going to be in uh, um, developer options we're going to search for another one and it is uh, these three that you see right here now if you if you windows animation if yours on one or five turn it off just if it's on this any one of these just turn it off and your system will run faster and if you are on this one right here and it's on one x or five x turn it off and uh, the other one is this one right here if you're if you're on any one of these just turn it off just just turn it off and uh, everything will run smooth because that is the animation for windows the the mouse that you see right here it makes it a little bit faster and um, once i turn it off and that's it so that is it for the settings now we have another settings that we want to um that we want to show you now because the main title is the allowing USB debugging and I'm going to show you how where you can find it to enable it or to disable it now we're going to go back into the settings and we're going to find developer options and we are going to find USB debugging right here now this is it right here debugging mode when USB is connected um, you can turn it on so if you are using a USB or you need to find it it's right there it's easy and simple to use provoke debugging um turn it on if you're using a usb and if you don't use it you just turn it off so you can turn it off like this and there you are so guys that is it for this video and i want to thank you guys for your amazing support i want to thank you guys for everything that you have done for me I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you for subscribing. Guys, please hit that thumbs up, that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit that post notification bell to get notified whenever I post a video. And guys, I will see you in the next video.